Okay guys, so let me show you this stability bunker that can be opened from the outside. Okay, so this is the seal here, and I'll just quickly show you the floor plan. Now it is quite large, but I'll explain to you why it's large, and you can make a slimmer version if you really wanted, but it can be soft-sided. Um, it, would, it would have to soft-side two lots of HQM. This foundation, and then this um, floor piece here. Um, which is um, so you can make this version. But I've got I've made this one here, and I'm just going to show you why. Okay. So before I move on and show you, it, I just want to give a shout out to Dirac. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. The reason for that is the method that I seen here of this placement here, which allows the roof piece to open up the bunker from outside. I seen on one of his videos the first time I ever seen it. Um, he used it on a very standard stability bunker which is he can open uh, that bunker from inside or outside this bunker can only be opened from the outside but the good thing was is when I seen that video I decided to implement that technique into a bunker design that I made myself a long time ago this bunker here which I love and I was very lucky and very happy that it actually did work on my own bunker so um, Props to him, and yeah, let's get into it and show you how it works. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to come around here, and this is a tiny little loot room. You've got like four large in there. Okay, so you just stand on here and grab a triangle roof, and when it goes blue, you place it, and that opens the bunker. Okay, so I can go and remove this now, like so. There you are, the bunker is now open. So now I'll drop down and I'll show you what the bunker consists of. So drop down to the right we have a loot room with two large, two small on top and three large and small on the bottom. To the left we have another loot room with two large, two small on top and two large, small and a barbecue on the bottom. Then when we open the garage door, in this triangle section we've got another two large and two small. And then to get to the TC, just remove these and there's the TC and there's the upkeep. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, just show you a couple of other things from the outside. So to seal it, you can seal it from the inside. Or you can seal it from the outside. Two ways of doing it. You can either stand right on the edge here and look down, like that. Or you can just stand back here and place it, okay? So like I said, it can only be opened from the outside. Now the reason why it's bulkier than the slimmed down version is I tried to um, minimize the, the soft siding because even though soft siding two HQMs is unlikely, there are people out there that will do it, okay? So, so what we've done is we honeycombed this side here um, to stop this from these two from being soft sided, which would open the bunker. Or on this side, what we've done is this foundation here probably could be soft sided via um, spears. Um, I think they can reach it with spears through this gap. But if they did do that with spears on that HQM, they would still have to find a way to get in through here, which would cost them probably the eight rockets to get in to soft side this to open the bunker. And if they've spent eight rockets to get in there to do that, then it would have cost eight rockets just to get into this bunker anyway okay so it's served its purpose if that's the case so it is bulkier um but i think it works okay so what i'll do now is i shall get into the build and show you how to build it okay guys so to build this what you want to do is put a triangle foundation either as low as possible and then come off that with two squares and then join up two triangles that is going to be the main part of your bunker. Now what I'll do is just for visuals for you, you can see this is where your TC is going to go. And this is going to be your loop rooms. Okay, so off of that, put another two squares, okay, and then put some half holes, like so, and then a floor on top, okay. And what we're going to do then is we're going to upgrade all this. So, once we've done that, we're going to come off with triangle frames off those two and then one in the middle. And then upgrade these to shoot metal as well. Okay. Once you've done that, we can then put foundations on these so those frames are inside. Once we've done that, 
we're good. So what we can do then is we can just come around here. Okay, and then we can put the bowels there. We need them now. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to honeycomb this here. This triangle, the centre triangle. Okay. And then when we've done that, we're going to put the roof on the bunker. Oops. Okay. And then we're going to drop down in. And then we just need to place two half holes on the drop down. And two half holes on this drop down. Remove the bottom ones. Remove the top ones. Okay. And then I'll just grab a ladder. And then we just place that in the middle okay so then what you want to do probably is get your TC down so I can make this HQM now okay and then we're going to make this HQM as well like so then we're going to put our double door frame in and then we're going to get the TC I'm just going to place it in here with a window on the front Okay, so I did I did do something wrong there, sorry guys. We do need that triangle frame in there first. Okay, sorry about that. Triangle frame in there first, then the door frame. Okay, I've made it out of metal um, just to keep the upkeep all the same. Okay, and then what we can do is we're going to come outside and we're going to finish off this part here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have two high foundations and a low one. We're going to honeycomb off the right side. This is, um, you can do this on either side, okay. So let's honeycomb this one. Remember this is so this can't be soft sided. Okay, and then this side over here is slightly different. Half wall on there, and then that in here. So you're going to want to probably put your boxes in. So the top ones you just line up like that, and this one a little bit forward. Okay, then your bottom ones just line them both up like that. You might want to put lock, bo uh, lock uh, code locks on these as well. Okay. Once that's done, seal her up. Okay. Now this, what we're going to do is we're going to honeycomb on top of this as well now. And I'll show you why. Just so that can one of those can't be soft sided. So we've gone up one higher. We go on there, and then all we do is put two half walls. Remove the bottom one. Low wall in. Okay, and then what I like to do is obviously for the placement, I like to keep it symmetrical. Okay, so for the placement of the thing, you need a small box. I'm going to place that here, and I like to use a campfire just so I can walk straight up onto it. You don't have to jump, you just walk straight up on, and that's going to allow you to place. Twig to open your bunker. Okay, and then to furnish inside, um, you want to put these on here. Now you can put the boxes that I'm going to place by jumping up like this and doing it. Okay, but when I do it that way, I normally end up with two large and a small. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I recommend if you can, if you can, then go right if you open up the roof, it does make it easier to um, get these boxes down. Okay, so I'm going to get the garage door. I'll make sure the garage door is down. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to get these on. That one. Okay, so it can be hard to get this box to the wall on that way. So sometimes it's better to come over here and get the small and put it in so the small's flush on this wall. Then get the large. Then you should even get the last large in here. 
there you go and then you should have got the last small in there okay and then we do the same on this side okay so we come over here do a small small large large and then small okay and then okay and then we're going to come down and then what we're going to do in here is going to place three large in here there we go so you get three large and a small down the bottom there and then we're going to do similar over this way Same up on top. Um, if you want to do it before you put the roof on. It's kind of a good way to do it. Otherwise, you might just have to set with some barbecues and some small boxes up there. Make sure when you place these that the the window's already on unlike me otherwise you might struggle to put the window on after so just make sure the windows on before you place these boxes okay so this box goes there grab a small chuck him in there and then last but not least you just chuck a barbecue and another small one in there okay and then that is everything obviously don't forget to put the roof on like me and that is it and like I said, just seal it and then come around here. And open the bunk from the outside. Okay guys, um hope you like it. If you've got this far and you're still hearing me talking, um thank you very much. Uh, I hope you like it. Um do me a favour, drop a like, drop a comment on it for me, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later.